right, I can't wait to go to bed. Let me start journaling. Oh, what's this? There's a dedicated journal app on the iPhone now? Gone are the days that you actually needed a dedicated app to journal with, or just pen and paper if you're still using pen and paper to journal, because Apple has made a journal app for the iPhone for iOS 16.2. And I've been using it for the past 24 hours as recording this video, and I say, pretty good for a start. However, there are still a couple things I think it can improve on. But first, let's talk about the positives. The first thing is, you cannot see anyone's journal until you enter face ID or passcode, which I say is a pretty good feature because if somebody gets a hold of your phone, you cannot access it. So let me just face ID real fast, and I can see all my journal entries, which I would like to keep private because I'm actually using this app in a serious manner. However, I do really like the UI, and I've only done one reflection, and it is something about the journal app. We will get a little more into reflections later, but I would briefly like to talk about this section, about the journal app being only available on the iPhone. All right, I have this MacBook right here, and I have not updated it to macOS 14.2 quite yet. Now, I obviously would if I was still doing the beta videos, but I kind of want to stop doing those until like the final releases. The only thing with macOS 14.2 is key contact verification, because as I said here in the journal app, it is only available on the iPhone. That also means it's not on the iPad either. And that means that iPads are a little more useless now, because I would expect that you would be able to journal with the Apple Pencil, which in my eyes would be a pretty cool feature of the journal app. Just having handwritten journals with the Apple Pencil, or you could just type them out, that would make a pretty cool feature. And especially for me and a bunch of other pro users who love their Macs to death, I feel like if Apple added the journal app to macOS, it would have pros use it a lot more. Now I feel like the only reason why Apple made the journal apps to begin with is to try to get Gen Z, because Gen Z holds a lot of the iPhone market. The more Gen Zs, I don't remember the exact number for sure, I would have to say it's like 80 or 70% prefer iPhone over Android. And the only way Android's gonna get a dedicated journal app is if every single phone manufacturer either makes one from scratch or another company pays them to make a journal app since that's basically how Android revenue works nowadays. And I feel like when a lot of Gen Z updates to iOS 16.2, they'll be like, what is this app? Open it for the first time and see that you can journal in it. And probably most of them will delete it off their phones anyway, since I know how Gen Z works as a Gen Z myself. And I feel like journaling gets you into a nice, better habit as I've felt with the journal app myself, because personally, I have never journaled before in my life. Having the journal app, it, it gives a lot of positive feelings. It. Now let's take a look at the journal app in action. Let's forget all about macOS and iPadOS and disregard as of right now that it's not on the iPad and Mac. And let's take a look at its positives. The interface is pretty simple. You just click on this plus button on the bottom. Nice Apple. And then you are able to go into here who's, and you're going to see a bunch of reflections. And yeah, they are different because if you notice right here, what's a good lesson that you learned recently? is here, but it isn't here now. There are just three randomized ones, and I'm guessing AI is choosing what it is. So there are some journal reflections right here, and they are pretty cool. However, you can make one from scratch up here. And real fast, I'm just gonna say, I am recording the journal app video now. And then right here, you got some suggestions, photos, you could take a picture, record audio, and even add a location in there. And it's simple as just pressing done. Once it is there, you will see the, all your past journals in order, and then you're actually able to bookmark them. If I were to bookmark this one, you're able to filter them by bookmarks, which I say is a pretty cool feature as well. So yeah, I like digital journals, and I've definitely seen a normal journal before, but I say digital journals are the way to go for the future. Or there is something about writing in a journal with a physical pencil. It just feels a lot more personal, you know. And to be honest, I think if Apple took their time to add it to the iPad, either use Scribble, I wouldn't care if you use Scribble, or just had it just handwriting or have an option, that would make things a lot better. And I hope in iOS 18, they'll add that. Keep in mind, what I'm gonna say now, is probably because it's in a beta right now. I do not have journal suggestions right here. I just have the generated randomized prompts right here. However, I've been seeing that some people have music in here, 
There's apparently activity workouts in here. Now, I kind of think adding the activity workouts would be a lot better in here. I personally like that a lot. Because just tapping on it, you'll be able to remember that one rate, for example. For the rest of your life, you'll be able to journal about it. And yeah, I think that is a lot better. However, I have not been able to experience that feature since I have not been able to figure out how to turn it on. And apparently, apps in the dock have been trending lately. And guess what made it to it in my dock? The journal app right here. It has found a way into my dock which means I've been using it quite a bit. I've actually been liking it so far. It has a pretty good first impression, unlike the Freeform app, which I barely even use anymore, but I still use it on occasion. This is an app that I definitely will be using a lot more, and hopefully with Mac OS 15 and iPad OS 18, we'll port it to those platforms. And now one of the things that caught my eye about the Freeform app is something that isn't in light mode which I know a lot of YouTubers have been using light mode because it's apparently easier to see. However, I think dark mode's easier to see and that's why I record my videos all in dark mode. And, and in light mode, you're not able to see anything suspicious about iOS 18. However, if you were to go down and turn on dark mode, you're gonna see something interesting. You're gonna see it has some gradients down here. Now the only other place we see gradients is in the health app. And in the health app, that is directly correlated with the Apple Watch. So iOS 18 redesign confirmed? Maybe. Especially if we take a look at these other things. For example, the action button. Now I do not have an iPhone 15 Pro, but I have seen screenshots and video recordings of the action button setting screen. So it has a brand new design. And something I have not seen before. A little bit weird that Apple is using a dedicated phone. It doesn't look Apple at all. Something else that doesn't seem very Apple is inside the Messages app. Now, it definitely looks a little more Apple now, but inside the iOS 17 beta, this did not look Apple at all. While this still looks a little bit like Apple, it doesn't feel like Apple that much anymore. We've been seeing this trend quite a bit. In iOS 17, a lot of things seem to have been tested that don't feel like Apple at all. For example, the software update screen now has a rounded button for, for confirming software updates. A little bit weird to be honest, and I've been noticing this trend quite a bit in the modern era, where things have been getting a lot more circular as years go by, to the point where a lot of apps nowadays are full circle. All their buttons are full circle, their docks are full circle, their toolbars are full circle. So I really think an iOS 18 redesign is coming. I not think about it before, but with the journal app looking like this, I think it's coming. Especially since it kind of reminds me about the Apple Watch redesign that we got in WatchOS 10. Now you may be thinking, is a journal app just notes, basically? I don't think so, because it does tie into your Apple ecosystem pretty well. Now I did have notes, I did not take journals in notes. I've even tried taking journals in pages before, and that did not go really well. Meanwhile, having a dedicated journal app, I feel like this is a lot better. In purple. And oh yeah, I really like this purple a lot. Now something else I like to take a look at in the journal app is that the plus button is on the bottom. You wanna know what else is on the bottom? Apple Watch buttons. It's directly correlated with the toolbar API in watchOS 10, where you can have bottom buttons. Maybe this was made with a secret version of Xcode 18 that's a little bit smoother and just has APIs from watchOS 10 builds for iOS 17, and Apple's just gonna make them public for developers next year. So yeah, in summary, I do like the journal app a lot. There are definitely a couple things that can be done, like bug fixes, porting it to the Mac and iPad, and yeah, that's basically the things that I would like with the journal app. Now, bug fixes obviously coming in iOS 16.2. Apple does not like releasing big buggy software because they have to open up to it, which they have been opening up to all their bugs lately. But yeah, I just can't wait to go to bed. This video is probably gonna be part of my journal. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Come like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Download my app, Willy Witter, down in the description down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.